Williams, and oh my gosh, I am so excited today because I have the unique opportunity of showing you how to make your first million dollars starting your very own niche recruiting and staffing agency business. This is an amazing opportunity, and, and I am, am humbled that I have the opportunity to show you. This five-minute tutorial will show you the two most popular ways for you to earn $1 million within your first year of starting a niche recruiting and staffing agency business. Is that not exciting? Okay, so I'm like playing with this PowerPoint. I'm hoping that I have this right. Here, so bear with me here. So there are three reasons why you really want to consider starting your very own recruiting staffing agency business. One, a three, number three reason is the money. Okay, I start backwards. That's the number three reason. You can make a crap load of money. I mean, a S H I T load of money in this business. All right, <laughs> I'm dead serious. So we want to talk about that today. That's the portion we're talking about. Reason number three. Reason number two is flexibility. Okay. When you're, you're running your own recruiting and staffing agency business, depending on the niche, this gives you an opportunity to, to be as flexible as you want. Um, I have run my own staffing and recruiting agency business and I have made my first million within a year. And, um, I consider myself a digital nomad because I go just about anywhere and everywhere. If you're not looking to have a huge agency, but you want to be a millionaire, you can do it in this business. If you're looking to have a huge agency, um, with offices all over the world, you can do that in this business. Flexibility is one of the things, one of the benefits that this business definitely brings you. And then the number one reason naturally is to, the ability to impact lives. Nobody wants to be in business if they can't impact somebody's life. You have a purpose. And when you're starting this business, your purpose becomes to impact other people's lives and to impact your own. We want you to make millions too and, and to impact your family. So this is a such an amazing opportunity um, for you to grow your business. And I want to show you how you can make money. And I only have three minutes left, so I'm going to move fast. All right. So there are two ways that you can get paid in this industry. One is through direct hire placement and one is through or permanent placement and one is through temp and contract placement. OK, your permanent and your direct hire placement. You charge the client who's the employer. 15 to 30 percent of your candidate's first year salary. And I'll show you in a second. This is a one time payment fee. So this is your 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 one time your one time payment money. OK, this is your lump sum. That's what I call it. This is your lump sum. You make one direct tire placement a month or two placements a month. Your checks are going to be at least at least eight thousand dollars or more per person that you place, hopefully. And um, you'll make a killing. Also, if you're going to work not just recruiting, but you're going to work on the temp or contract side, you're going to charge your client, the employer, 28% to 43% of the gross profit margin. Here you are paid by the hour and it's based on each hour that your candidates work. So you're paid weekly or monthly, however your invoice is, is however your invoice is created or whatever is listed in your contract or whatever you decide um, with your client, this is your residual income. And it's residual because every hour your candidate works, you get paid and you'll get paid on a monthly basis. Now, what I want to do is I want to pull my calculator out. And for anybody who's taken my class, they will know and I'm hoping that this calculator is showing up on the screen, you will be able to see um, how you can start making money right here and right now. Um, okay, so let's get let's get started. Let's let's get started. Okay. Um, oh, I'm moving. I'm moving in the wrong place. All right. All right. So. This is what I call the 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 infamous recruiting um, the infamous calculator, and it is available for you to purchase at staffingpreneurs.com or at a recruitmentstore.com. It's nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, so pretty pretty inexpensive. Um, it is also available for you to use once you become a member on Staffingpreneurs Academy, and it is free on the Academy. Um, so here, the infamous calculator, we're going to talk a little bit about the direct hire side very quickly. Uh, if you have a candidate who, and their salary is $80,000 
per year and you charged your client 15% of that candidate's first year salary, your check will be $12,000, okay? If you have a client and this candidate's salary is $80,000 a year and you have a 20% fee, then your check is $16,000. It's just that simple. OK, if you make one placement a month, every month with a candidate of $80,000 salary and you charge your client a 15 percent fee, you'll bring home one hundred and forty four thousand dollars for that year for the year. If you place another candidate every month for 12 months at $80,000 with a 20% fee, you'll bring home almost $200,000 per year, which means your first year income would be $336,000. Now listen, if you are someone who's saying, D, I do not need a whole rack of money. I don't need to make a million and I don't need to have a full staffing agency. All I really need is to bring home $350,000 or $330,000 a year and I I would be straight, then recruiting only may be a good fit for you because here you have a ton of opportunity. Now that position is at an $80,000 salary. Even if that salary and the average person that you place the salary was $60,000, you're still making $252 a year if you make two placements a month. But let me change the scenario a little bit. Let's just say you're doing executive search and you only want to do one placement per month. Your average salary is, let's say, $250,000. let us say that's on your high end. Let's say $300,000 is on your high end and that fee goes up to 25%. And then you have, um, look at that first of all, if you place one person every month all year long, your checks are $75,000. I made one of those placements last year and it was amazing, okay? Actually, I think my rate was three eighty, dollars was the guy's salary and, and um, he came from actually from Netflix. And um, and that was, a, and actually my fee was 30%. So that was what my check actually looked like um, after I made that placement. If you're doing executive search and you can make one of these placements per month for 12 months, you're talking at one point three million dollars okay so I'm gonna say your average placement um, for executive search position is two hundred thousand and on your low end it is 125 and your fee is 20% let's just say that all right so if you make 12 placements a month at 125 um, at 125,000 and uh, at 20% your checks will be twenty five thousand dollars a month that's nice. You're looking at three hundred thousand a year, easy. But let's say you're 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 you know you're also doing a second placement a month at two hundred k, and you're charging a thirty percent fee. That's a sixty thousand dollar check. That's eighty five thousand dollars a month for you, and you're looking at one million dollars in your first year. I didn't do it this way. I did do a number of direct hire placements. This is very doable. If you don't know, this is very doable. This is your direct hire. This is your executive search. This is where you figure out what your money's going to look like. Now, I can tell you now, if you're talking to a startup or an executive and, and somebody, I mean, if you're good in a hospital, their salary may be a half a million dollars. Think of, I think of the TV show um, that I love so much, L.A. House Listings or L.A. Houses or whatever it's called. Um, those guys make nice commission checks. You can make a nice commission check. If you have somebody and their salary is $895,000 and this for hospital directors and so forth, I'm telling you, they have big salaries and you charge 30%, your check is $268,000. Thousand and once you get done with the training, with training with either one on one training with D. Williams, or if you're going through the academy, or even if you're going somewhere else, once you get real training on how to create a niche that is amazing, this I'm telling you right now, you can make look at this, they're talking three million. OK, we're talking three million alone with just doing high end executive placements. But you know what? I get super excited. I like big numbers and I like things that are a challenge. I like to go for the gusto. So let's look at some realistic numbers. Your average executive is going to probably be somewhere around the one twenty five thousand. Right. And then let's say to two fifty. 
All right. That's where you're going to be. Those are the numbers that are most realistic if you're going to do executive placement directors, um, VPs, C, C level, all of those. You could do one point two million in direct hire fees. I hope that you can see what this looks like if you're doing regular direct hire placements back at that 60,000 mark or up to that 80,000 mark your fee right here may go down it may drop to 15 percent and to 20 percent so your checks could be not as low as 9,000 and as high as we've already seen those numbers open your mind see what your possibilities are okay I'm gonna delete that out because I get excited when I see figures like that OMG okay my daughter's gonna say mom you sound like an old head now <laughs> let's talk about the temp and the contract side very quickly because I've already gone over my five minute um, segment in this video but I really want to show you what this thing can look like and I actually use this on a consistent basis as well so your bill rate is what you're going to charge the client and let's just say let's start off small and you are working with a client who or a position you work with a candidate a temp and they're making let's say this temp is making um, 15 bucks an hour okay so now we're going to find a bill rate we're going to def define what our bill rate would be and how much you would make off of someone like that the big thing on here is to make sure that your gross margin stays between 28 percent and 43 percent so let's make that happen so it's 15 so I'm just gonna start off with 50 bucks an hour look at that my gross profit margin is 64 percent that's way big it's no way an employer would pay fifty dollars an hour for you to pay a candidate 18 bucks an hour so that's lower that thing down by 30 percent a third um by um by there you have 30 dollars right there so you're going to bill your client 30 bucks an hour you'll pay your contractor 18 bucks an hour and you will make 12 dollars an hour every time that person worked very high gross margin Robert Half International which is one of the largest recruiting and staffing agencies out there their average margin in 2013 was 40 three percent and so this is 40 percent this looks good um, if you you're making 12 bucks an hour if you get one person per week um, you would be able to you would be bringing in four hundred and eighty dollars per week now let's say that you decided that you wanted to pay yourself ten percent and to pay your your a recruiter or account manager or pay yourself and your husband if you're doing a dual team or your partner for the work that you guys done whoever did the recruitment whoever did the business development then you can see here that the company now makes 960 an hour because you have to pay your employees but for every hour that this candidate works your employee gets paid 48 dollars okay and for every hour this person works you get paid three hundred and eighty four dollars per week very simple I'm talking so I had to drink some water I'm sorry guys okay very simple um, and this is what you'll make a month and that's what you'll make a year now that's with one contractor but what if you had five that goes up off the break you're talking about ninety nine thousand only five people a year you're making a hundred thousand per year and this is what you're paying your employees this is what the company is making but each employee will end up making a commission two hundred and forty dollars a week because that price went up because naturally they're gonna make money after every for every hour that person has worked right so what if the average recruitment firm they get about twenty five people on placement throughout the year I have a client that I worked with they actually have made 50 plus placements since I started training with them and it's only been three months um, and and so you know you can definitely get go bigger I think your first year a good number a steady number for a full year is 25 contractors if you have 25 contractors on billing you're making a half a million dollars a year at these numbers nine thousand six hundred dollars a week is what your business will make and what each recruiter or account manager will earn would be twelve thousand a week if you're by yourself pay yourself okay so that the company will still have money and the company can still be paid a lot of people miss out on that this is where the W to employee and with these numbers all right great I'm gonna take this down to one again 
and that is on the temp side but what if you're on the high-end contractor side okay where you're placing IT professionals or locum tenants in, in the healthcare space or what have you and they're used to being paid um, 60 bucks an hour okay now our numbers are changing notice my gross margin just went down into a negative we don't want that so I'm going to change my bill rate to $120 an hour I'm gonna pay my contractor 72 bucks an hour I'm now making 48 bucks an hour my recruiter and my account ma manager is making four dollars and eighty cents in commission per hour so the company is actually making thirty eight dollars and forty cents an hour my contractors I'm sorry my recruiter and my account manager are getting hundred and ninety two dollars a week and I am making one thousand five hundred and thirty six dollars a week now if you have a day job and you're doing this business and you have one contractor on billing that's fifteen hundred dollars a week that's six thousand a month are you doing that right now and if you are that's not that big of a deal but if you're not this is a huge deal now we're only talking about one people let's say in your first 60 days you get five contractors now you're bringing the company is bringing in seven thousand per week and if you're paying yourself or employee you're bringing in nine hundred and sixty dollars per week you're almost at four hundred thousand dollars a year but let's talk about keeping 25 people on billing steadily for a year o m g i can't even talk about it i'm talking thirty eight thousand dollars per week your business brings in and you paying yourself four thousand eight hundred dollars per week or your each recruiter is making four thousand eight hundred dollars per week that's with a ten percent commission that's it there are people out there who get a 30% commission. Okay? Then they make it 14,000. We don't want to do that. You want to be mindful. This is your gross margin. You want to stay around 10% or or 5% if you want to start people out with and go go further. But I will tell you that the more that your recruiters and your account managers are bringing in business and placing people, the more you want to incentivize them because you want them to stay around. You want to show them that that you value them not just as employees but you value the work that they do so this is very 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 important for you also here um, you see that you're bringing in the company a hundred and sixty six thousand a month and you've made two million dollars per year so if one portion of your business is contract and staffing you got 25 people on billing for a year on the high side right where your bill rates where you're paying people about 70 bucks an hour or so and then you also had your direct hire fees we saw those numbers earlier so let's just say you're doing 200,000 a year placements direct hire at a 20% fee then you're still talking about another 480,000 for the year and $40,000 in commission per month do you see the picture because you're talking about 2.5 million dollars a year in your first year of business does this feel good to you do you see it are you making this amount of money right now that's the big question the point of me doing this video was to let you know that you can do this business and you can make a crap load of money doing this business yes you can have flexibility yes you can impact lives I'll tell you right now every time I make an offer to a candidate literally I get a high I've never done drugs before but if I knew what it felt like I would know that this is what it is and so what I want you to understand is that you'll get addicted to making placements and because you're touching people and they in there appreciate you and then once you do it for the love of what you're doing you'll create more and more business and you'll make more and more money and we'll go into the other sections during a live uh, a live training but I just wanted to give you guys an opportunity and to show you that you can do so much more in your second year if you get 50 people on billing with those numbers you're talking four million you just doubled and seventy eight thousand dollars a week and your, your recruiters are doing nine thousand six hundred per week these are phenomenal numbers can you imagine your company bringing in seventy six thousand dollars a week can you imagine bringing in nine thousand six hundred dollars a week on your paycheck really all right well listen I want you to know that this business is doable 
And the way things are going now and the way business is booming, you have an opportunity. The key to this business is niche. All right. And I'm just going to leave you with that. The key to this business is niche. Now, I want to go back and I, we talked about the two ways that you get paid. Let's just talk about our social footprint. It is very important for you guys to take a moment out of your schedule and to connect with us. OK, we connect with entrepreneurial professionals all over the world who are looking to become staffingpreneurs and to start their very own recruiting and staffing agency business. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because I have videos coming out all the time. Now, all of my videos are on the D. Williams GA, but subscribe to Identifies Consulting. There isn't much there. I will be giving away five, literally five, three to five minute videos of my training sessions that I record, really short, quick tips. They will start coming out November 1st. Subscribe to Identifies, Identifies Consulting now so that you can be one of the first people to get that information when it comes out. Also, you can like our Facebook page and I have my information here, D. Williams, GA. Uh, you can connect with me on LinkedIn as well as Identifies Consulting. Follow me on Twitter at number one networker. I only have about 18,000 followers. So follow me definitely on LinkedIn. Connect with me. I only have 31,000 um, connections. So link, <laughs> so link with me. I am a very personable person. So if you reach out to me, I'm going to reach back out. If you call me, I'm going to talk to you. If you email me, I'm going to email you back. If you text me, I'm going to text you back. If you tweet me, I'm going to tweet you back. If you like me, I'm going to like you back because I like people and, and I like to see people do amazing things. And I know that that's one of the things that you are going to do as well. So more importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and, and, and I want you to visit the website and, and I need to go back. I'm, I'm not good with um, this PowerPoint. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here are all our website. <laughs> Here are all of our websites you can definitely go to, staffingpreneurs.com, Staffingpreneurs Academy, or recruitmentstore.com, and identifiesconsulting.com. I definitely appreciate you taking your time out to watch this five-minute video, <laughs> and I will see you either, I'll see you at one of these um, websites. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>